How do you do, folks? How are y'all doing today? You know, I like my uh, my RCA DVD home theater system in the living room, so I said I'm gonna get me one for my room. I don't have Blu-ray in here, but I have some Blu-ray movies, and I like how it upscales DVDs and makes them look better. I can always put my PS3 in here, but I don't want to. I want my own Blu-ray player, so I got me one. I got the RCA Blu-ray home theater system with VUDU on-demand movie access, which I really don't care to use. I just want the Blu-ray player and all the speakers. So I had to buy me another HDMI cable. I bought me this at uh, Publix for pretty cheap. Got me that. And everything is in here, and I'm going to hook it up pretty soon. Those uh, foam paddings were in here, too. I just took them out. Oh, that's that's pretty light. That's not that heavy. Here is the uh, manual and stuff. Why do they... I wonder why they don't give you an HDMI cable. I don't know why, but they don't. Give you a yellow cable. Video cable. Let's see what's in here. If I can do it with one hand. There's all the speakers and all that. And I'm getting ready to hook this all up and see what it's like. See you later. Bye-bye. One hour later. Yeah, it took me an hour to hook this thing up. Oh, my God. Well, folks, I got everything hooked up. It took me about an hour to hook everything up. The hardest part was uh, getting the wires situated. The wires are still kind of hanging from the ceiling there. There's the... Uh, the left rear speaker there. There's the right rear speaker right there. Let me zoom out a little bit. You can see the cord goes all the way back there and behind my TV all the way over here to the RCA Blu-ray system which I have to say was worth the $188. I really enjoy it. I got one for my living room. It's not Blu-ray but I got a Blu-ray PS3, so I don't need Blu-ray in there, really. This one has a built-in Blu-ray player, and it comes with all the speakers. So that's a that's a good deal, if you ask me. I did have to buy an HDMI cable, and that's all I had to buy. And you have to use the uh, audio cables to get the audio from the TV. You can see all the wires back there. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff plugged in back there. Look at all those wires. I had to move my Xbox and my PlayStation 2. I just couldn't fit them all in here. So, those are actually under there now. They're under there in a box. But, uh, got everything hooked up. It was pretty pretty easy to hook up. It just took me a while to get the wires straight. There's wires, like, everywhere. But you can see I, I ran the wire all the way back there, back behind Mr. Skull, all the way past Mr. Squirrel, all the way back there. The subwoofer is down there. Where's my flashlight? I'll let you see a little better. Subwoofer's down there. That's what gives you all those boom, 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 and all that, and all that. But uh, let me give you a little test here. I'm on uh, Comcast, easy listening music, and I'll let you hear what it sounds like. I got it programmed with the Comcast remote. You can use this remote, too. This is the remote that came with it. But uh, it's a lot easier to use this one. That way you can work everything instead of having to have three remotes. I do have to use this one to like change my color settings and all that. This one I use for the uh, cable box and the audio. But you do need this one if you want to watch like a Blu-ray movie to fast forward, pause, rewind and all that. But a very good sound. Sounds very good to me. Turn it down. I'll wake up Big Mama. Well, you can see the uh, the sound is very good. It's 500 watts, so that's more than the one I have in the living room. The one in the living room is uh, 250. This one's 500, so that's a lot of power. But as you can see, it sounds pretty damn good. I'm very, I'm very pleased. It was very easy to hook up, except for the wires everywhere. But that's the thing. When you get one of these things, the wires are everywhere, no matter what, unless you staple them to the ceiling, which is probably what I'll do. But uh, that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I highly recommend the uh, Blu-ray RCA RTB 
1023. That's the model on uh, this Blu-ray player. I haven't tested the Blu-ray player yet, but I'm sure it works fine because the audio works fine. But uh, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and if you're looking for a, a good sound system, I recommend uh, this one by RCA or the other one that I have in my other video, the RTD325W or something like that. But uh, this one was really good for $188. Highly recommend it. But uh, that's all I got to say. I will see y'all later. Bye-bye. Au revoir. Please don't get me for copyrights. Bye-bye. The RCA RTB1023 and RCA RTD3 Two five W. Oh my God, I'm out of breath. Are both boogerific sound systems. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. Sayonara. Bye bye.